There's a need for federal leaders to listen to the voices of children and youths because right now we don't have the power to directly influence the government. We don't. We aren't able to vote yet, and there. Are, I still believe that there are many valid opinions and concerns out there that need to be addressed. So, if there are direct ways for us to tell the leaders about our own issues, it would be very beneficial for all the youths living in Canada. Because children have gone through things, gone through that stuff, and they might have more ideas than the people, the adults who haven't gone through these things. Suicide is an issue worldwide, and also that they're the. They're the youth and that they're going to be our future. And I was just, I was saying that I think that their opinion matters also. A good leader is a person who always stands up for, for the people they people, care about. Friends, family, anyone and they know. I think the most important thing is child abuse. Someone's having problems with like one of their like, math or something like that, they can help them and help them outside of school so they can have the, comp they have the confidence that they need to power through. Bullying starts from people being rude or mean to each other and then it could lead to suicide or any other worst conditions. Because it's like the suicide and anxiety, it kind of like worries me because kids should be like bullied from and like sacrificing their own life to be just to not live a life. I want federal leaders to know that Age is just a number, and kids, like, their opinion matters. We have four problems, and kids can help with the solution. I think it's important for federal leaders to listen to kids because... So we can we give have kids a voice. Uh, I would like to uh, have specialists in schools to help with anxiety um, and depression. And they can work with students to help with their problems.